Alright guys, today let's discuss an algebra problem that involves running and racing. This is a math contest problem from Waterloo's Grade 8 Gauss contest. This is question number 23 from year 2013 and I ask that Greg, Charlie's, and Azara run at different but constant speeds. Each pair ran a race on a track that measured 100 meters from start to finish. In the first race, when A crossed the finish line, C was 20 meters behind. In the second race, when C crossed the finish line, G was 10 meters behind. In the third race, when A crossed the finish line, how many meters was G behind? This is a question that involves motion, so it makes sense to quickly brush up on the relationships up among the uh, variables, such as um, the race time and total. So we know that speed is a rate, right? In other words, you can look at speed as distance traveled within a certain period of time, right? Such as kilometers per hour, number of meters per second, right? Therefore, if time is fixed, then comparing speed is equivalent to comparing distance, right? So for example, uh, let's say there are two people. Person A travels at one meter per second, whereas person B travels at two meters per second. Then the speed ratio of A to B is one to two. So that means for every meter A travels, B will travel two meters. If we fix time, let's say A and B both travel for five seconds, right? then A will have traveled one times five, which is five meters, and B will have traveled two times five, which is 10 meters. So their distance ratio is five to 10, which still boils down to one to two, right? So you see that the ratio or the proportionality between the two people never changes, right? If they uh, travel the same amount of time. Now back to this question, how behind is G when A crosses the finish line ultimately depends on their speed. So let's compare the speeds of these three people. You have A, you have uh, C, then you have G, right? And uh, remember speed is how much distance can we travel given this uh, period of time, right? So let's take a look at the first race, right? Given the same period of time, A will have traveled 100 meters while C only travels 80 meters, right? That's the moment when A crosses the finish line. In the second race, when C crosses the finish line, right? During the same amount of time, G only travels 90 meters, right? Because uh, this, uh, 10, he's 10 meters behind, right? So I want to know ultimately what is the speed of A compared to G or the ratio of A to G, right? Okay, in order to fuse these two ratios together, you, you take a look at the common element, which is C, right? So as soon these two numbers are the same, then I can, I can compare these two numbers, right? So let's do that conversion. So to go from 100 to 80, right, I can multiply this by 80 over 100, right? And of course, I have to do the same thing to the other side, which is uh, uh, 90 times 80 over 100. Right? And if you do the calculation, this becomes 80, and this will become 72. So the, therefore, uh, these two ratios are now they form a common ratio, right? So the ratio of A to G becomes 100 to 72, right? So that means when A travels 100 meters, right? During the same amount of time, G would have traveled only 72 meters, right? So that, that and 100 meters is exactly what it takes to go from start to finish. So when A crosses the finish line, G is only G has only traveled 72 meters, which means that G is 100 minus 72 or 28 meters behind.